I met five of my classmates in UK University, uh, all these Singaporeans. They said, Patrick, come to Singapore and do business. But because of that, I came to Singapore. Uh -huh. That's so when I come to Singapore, guess what? My best friend, he said, Patrick, I decided to carry on a PhD. <laughs> so actually, he carried on a PhD. He did not come back to Singapore, you know, and I come to Singapore. <laughs> so I, then I found a job. I'm the youngest lecturer in Singapore Polytechnic. I, I studied IT. I studied IT basically. And then I'm the one who was this IT thing, okay? Manager here back. We talk about 1989. So we are the first batch graduate from UK. So I, okay, so say, okay, friend, I wait for you. How long is your PhD? Three years. I wait for you three years. So I take a job in the Singapore Polytechnic, two years, a lecturer, out there I went to Motorola. Then finally my friend come back and say, oh good friend, do business, right? Yes, we did. So I quit my Motorola job. I still remember my boss said, Patrick, you sure or not tomorrow is your place, so you sure you will quit? We got something for you, you know, Patrick. I said, no, no, no. Finally, the reason I come to Singapore realized I'm doing this with my friend. When we started our first business, six of us. Within half a year, the whole company collapsed. <laughs> okay, so, so we don't really fight, we don't really fight, no? but, but it's very sad. You know why? You know why my, my, my first business is bad? Planning? Planning actually we did quite well in planning. Different ideas. Different ideas, yeah, but not a key thing. I'm the only one quit the job. All oh, my friends say, Patrick, don't worry, you bring your customer in, I will quit my job. And remember that I always, I always mention, in the world there's no such thing called part-time. You need to focus, you need to put all your effort into a business, otherwise no way you can build a business. So the world is changed. There's no such thing called try first. This is what I learned. So I carry on, I carry on, I do my business. Next thing, next business, I'm only myself, no partner. Not so bad, not so bad. We, we, we grow the business. Okay, uh, my company managed to get a few tender. Uh, today, if you go to a police force, I still remember Singapore police force have 20,000 people. We build a system, okay? My team build a system. Uh, if you make a complaint to a policeman, within three days, if no one address, answer this, this uh, question, complaint, my software will channel to Prime Minister. So Prime Minister will open this system and see the ticket and go direct. So we build the system. So I'm very happy, you know? I thought, wow, I'm going to be very successful. And then what? When the financial crisis came in, it's really hard. 1997, I'm not, luckily I never get the tender. It's a two million tender project. If I get it, I sure I will bankrupt. And my friend get it, the whole company bankrupt. You know why? You still remember in 1997, what happened in 1997? Prices, what prices? The currency changed. So at that time, most of the computer is from America. So if you're earning a couple hundred dollars, you lose five hundred dollars because currency, currency has changed. That is very, very terrible. So we did the same thing. We have a problem. But luckily, I ever own people money. Luckily. So I still remember, I paid all my salary, all my sub salary, and we just closed down. So at that time, IT is coming to Singapore. <laughs> IT bubble, not bubble yet, IT is just starting. So I asked myself, should I carry on the job? Should I carry on the job and or carry on? I think myself, last try, last try. Okay, I convinced all my parents, my wife. Last try, please. <laughs> so, did. Okay, so this and the third venture, no business at all, but we grow. Okay, so I asked myself, what should I do? I'm focusing on technology training. I, I, I'm not just training for application, computer application. We know that in Asia, lack of huge pool of IT professional. So I'm focusing on developed professional. So we have trained about 1, 10,000 IT professionals. Okay, I still remember that. So, uh, so we grow, okay, this is a Singapore centre, at the same time we grow into Orchard Road and the CBA. Then at the same time we know that Hong Kong is where I come from, we branch out into Hong Kong, okay, Mong Kong, okay, and then of course two centre. Of course, if you're talking about all Malaysia, uh, we, 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 we believe that we need to become a scale. We scale to KL centre, PJ, Plan, JP, and Penang. At the same time, China is open up, just open up. I think professional training is very key in China. So we go to China, we, we, we have a good center in Sunchen, at the same time we work with this, this public listed company, and we already moved to franchising already. So this, they buy my master franchise, about $1 million, okay, so then from that we franchise. So this is where our view, at the same time we go to Australia, we believe technology and education is the key focus. So we go to Australia, we acquire college. Those colleges, they are not running well. So we bring in, we come, we come up with our model and we turn it around. 
Okay, so we bought we bought we bought this college of two hundred k Australian dollar, but we turned it around. Okay, so eventually we have Sydney, Melbourne uh, parameter, and finally we have two hundred men. I tell you, when you have people work for you, you know when is the most difficult time? Every month have one one day very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> That's reality. Writing the check. Writing the salary. It's very, very terrible. When all the chapel would meet, I'm signing for almost half a million check. Giving money is enjoyable. But but you don't have money to give is terrible. So I need to bring it check there. When I'm my bank, all my salespeople really bring in the money, you know? And, 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 and you are not, you are not just hiring 200 people. You are hiring. 1,000 people because each of them have family. Mm -hmm. So I tell you that is something that if you cannot take it, please don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, my friend who signed his uh, China factory, he, ne he was never able to go back to China. If you go back to China, he got killed. I'm not joking. Don't those people from China, poor, 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 poor moving, right? Come all the way, you know, working for your this factory, you know, no salary back home, you know, he will kill you. He will definitely kill you. You understand that? But I'm not scaring you. <laughs> <laughs> I still like entrepreneurship. I still like entrepreneurship, okay? So, uh, okay, very quick one, okay? I'm studying IP, basically I, I do master, and today I'm doing a PhD in uh, entrepreneurship. Okay, I want to understand very detail about entrepreneurship. I believe that entrepreneurship is going to be a big thing, huge thing. Okay, so uh, sorry for bought you for a while, and now we go to our topic. Let's look at the main topic today and thanks all of my colleagues to share with you about the passion. I think there's a common there's a common uh, basic okay common uh, 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 attribute you can see from all my colleagues is passion. Okay and this is why we call this is a passion fruit. Later we, we we share with you about why we come up with this passion fruit and it I come up with this thing. I think very relevant. Well. You know this guy? Yes. Who is this guy? Uh, this guy is very interesting, okay? I'm not coming up, okay? But basically, this guy charged $250 per lesson teaching gifted student, gifted child. And people saying that this is a training center. So he's, he's having a uh, his training center in his <coughs> Okay, I don't know, but this what I read from newspaper. And uh, there's a long queue, parent queuing up to send a son to this training center and pay $200 per lesson, $750. I think I'm not here to question. Whether you should send your child to tuition or not. Okay, I, I'm not. I believe that every parent you can do anything to your kid. I believe that you have have good intention. <coughs> but I think it's something something happens not missing in the world. <coughs> so we we if you look at that right, uh, I, I think recently uh, a lecturer Wendy really, right, the prime minister said that please give the childhood proper childhood to the kid the children right. Okay, then he said that, okay, the, the kindergarten, all this is going to be uh, controlled by today. Parents spend, you know that? Parents in 2008 spent almost 800 million. Today, this year, it's already gone to billion. So it's $1 billion for tuition. Huge market. I think it's a problem. So I think, I think we sometimes, parents, we, we mix up. Uh, what's the tuition? <coughs> and this is what we want to bring up today. We call tuition. What does it mean by that? What we're trying to say is that passion is a key element for every child. They will be very disciplined. They will be very disciplined. Okay. I, I happen to have two, one, one boy and one girl, right? My boy is seven years old. Okay, I got big problem to managing him. <laughs> it's why I want to learn from y'all, okay? And I happen to have a 17 years old girl. Uh, I spend about when when he knows how to communicate with me, right? I, I start using this simple technique called passion dream. Everything she do is all passion based. Okay, I, I don't know. I can call. I never call myself as an expert in parent. I know I'm not very successful parent here. Okay, I learned from you also. But I realize that the moment that they have passion, you're able to start a fire. They, they have something passion, and that would be a great driving driving. Okay, I'm not know what you should really do. Okay, but I'm quite quite all right. Okay, I never sent up the tuition, and uh, but recently I think she she do very well in her in her O level and. Uh, for you, we got a this whole price down. Okay? But, but the point but the point is the passion can really only not driving the job and drive our next generation. 
So of course you say, Patrick, of course, I never send my kids to tuition. Or I spend a lot of time to, to bring them into different interest group, interest activity, right? Music, art, sport. That's very good. Okay, but, but, but let's think about it. Okay, it's just my own personal experience. Sport, sport. How many of them can win the medal, gold medal? My son just recently pulled out from CCA again. She liked badminton. She also liked table tennis. Okay. Then, then eventually we pull out from table tennis. We will learn reason because that's school focusing on few kids. They are planning them to be a champion. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you have this experience. But I see his passion, so I'm good. I, I managed to find out this tennis more tennis hall. But this every morning have a session for children to play. So he's very happy. Mm -hmm. my, my my point is. All this activity is good, but in the day, where you get the fruit? Okay, let's let think about it. You need passion, right? But the question is that every passion doesn't turn out to be fruit. But it's very arguable. Okay, so Patrick, I just like music. I, I don't care. I just enjoy it. Of course, by all means. But for our children, right? Unfortunately, when they play sport, eventually they will say, I, I want to be champion. So if they cannot be champion? Entrepreneurship is different. And let's look at that. They will have a lot of successful education. Each of them a champion. Okay, I just give you one of my my, my little story. Okay, when uh, I stay in one of the little island in Hong Kong, something like the Sentosa. My mind is very protective. I don't even I don't able uh, I'm not able to go out from the island and even go to the Hong Kong city. Yeah, okay? I cannot. So it's very protective. So I I I found that okay, I need to get out to go to see the world. So but uh, we run a very very uh, small. Mama shop. Okay, so um, what happened is that I found that uh, okay, I see we run a store. So this guy always bring a machine to my to my, my to my parent each day and say that okay, let's put it there. Whenever children come to play, I will collect 50 50 percent with you. Okay, this machine will come. <coughs> so I think okay, oh, why, why do I need to do that? Why can't I do it myself? You know, I find that it's not very cool. So I go to Sydney Square in different places, I buy something, I build a system, I build a simple machine, I put it there. And then 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 I have one way to come. And that is where I support my curation in the UK. My parents still have me. Okay? So, so what I'm trying to say, give your kid a little opportunity to create something at home and give them the satisfaction. I think it's all about education. We're not talking about how much make million dollars. Not necessary. Not necessary. Okay? So, then, what is your passion fruit? A passion fruit is the the, we, this is our slogan here. It's called fruition of passion through entrepreneurship. The point is, you got a passion, you hope that you do something, and then uh, through entrepreneurship, and the same time you will get your food. That will be. Okay, let's talk about parent now, right? Uh, parent to support entrepreneurship. It's not an option. Unfortunately, with today's world, it's a must. I tell you why. You've got no choice. That's uh, my audition. You may not be you may you can't grow up as a beauty, but it's, it's not a bad idea for you to be a mother or father of a beauty. Okay, so you are not beauty, but doesn't mean that you cannot nurture a future beauty. Correct? So so point is, which question you normally ask? Achieve this long result, or pay a well paid, find a stable job, or you start your own business. Okay? The parents for twenty first century are different, are very different. We are we are staying, we are living in a different world now. And the skill that we all know must be innovative and basically everyone must be problem solver. They must be able to solve problems. Okay? And raising child is not easy. And of course we say that if you want to really raise an entrepreneur child, it is even worse. Right? So let's look at what's happening in the world now. I think all of us know. Well, a lot of prices, a lot of uncertainty. Okay. The entrepreneurship have changed. Okay, compared with 10 years ago, 20 years ago, the entrepreneurship <coughs> concept